because usually I'm just riding by on a horse. So we, oh jeez. Um. <laughs> uh, I think this might be the thumbnail. When we last left Steve the Dragonborn, we had discovered a hidden note by Amshara about some beautiful silver armor, and we decided that uh, we would take it upon this ourselves to collect said armor. In the meantime, we the collected a bunch more quests around Rorikstead, including helping two lovers. God, I always hate doing these in the ends because it's so distracting with all the noise. Let's go outside and finish, shall we? Welcome back. It's Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Hilda, get out of the way. <laughs> I was just oh my word. It's just so difficult. Right, okay. So what did we do? We, we, we went to Rorikstead. We collected the armor. We found a poor man, Lund, I think it was, who was eaten to death by little rat boys. What are they called? The Skeevers. Jeez, how did I forget that? Anyway, we sorted out the armor. We collected it. I did make a little boo-boo where I enchanted it while I was tired and it had really awful enchantments because obviously when you're tired in survival mode enchanting and smithing not as good so we have built some new armor some new silver armor and enchanted that and i've got to admit i do like the look of it it is a little bit worse than the ebony not much by the way but enough that it could be noticeable i think it was like 200 on the other one that was about 80 i think 80 to 100 and then that was probably about 80 to 100 as well. But I, I like the way it looks, and that's the main thing. We've got this beautiful looking set of armor now. It's got pouches and pockets, so I'm always quite happy with that. But we've arrived back in Markarth. We've done the jobs that need to be done. And now we can kind of continue with a little bit of work on uh, quests and stuff. So we were thinking of returning to Riften to sort out the, the Mara quest. We have also got the option for... Did we pick up... Oh, we got the one from Solitude to do. That's what we were going to do, but we never really got round to it. The dainty slowed. So we need to go speak to Erica. And there's also this as well, the Forsworn, Cons Forsworn Conspiracy, which we could start as well. Although I'm tempted to leave that a little bit. We might as well do that one, though. Jeweled Flagand from Ogman's house in Markov. So let's go find Ogman's house. We could do a couple of day requests here as well, because obviously there's the... Is it more like Bow? The? Could do that one. And I think we picked up one from the Jarl, which we could potentially turn in as well, which was the Bandit Camp Leader, wasn't it? We've got we've got a thing pointing in here, so maybe it is. It. Let's go find out. Yeah, it is. Let's go speak to the Jarl. Tell him that the Forsworn, Forsworn Leader has been taken care of. I used to be an adventurer like me. Fight them where they live. What up? My people fairly, and I will do the same to you. Yeah, well, the leader of Dragonbridge Overlook is very dead. I'm impressed. Forsworn usually makes short work of mercenaries, but you took care of them. Here is your reward. Do you have any more work for me? I do. A personal matter. My father Ooh. died trying to negotiate with the Forsworn, back when that was possible. They took his shield to those Hargraven beasts they consort with. I need you to bring it home where it belongs. Oh. I warn you, it's dangerous work. No man of mine has ever faced a Hargraven and lived. I'll understand if you decline. Don't worry about me, I'll do it. Divines watch over you. Cool, interesting. Retrieve that shield at all costs. Interesting. I don't know if No, I must have done that quest. Because I would assume that you, you, you've got to speak to the L about buying property. So I assume I must have done this at some point, but maybe I don't remember it because it was kind of... I, I guess the, the fetch quests are very much forgettable if you're fast traveling everywhere, you know? Right, what are we doing? We're looking at the map first. So we've got the house that we want to rob. We've got Forsworn... I'm guessing that's a Radiant quest, is it? Yeah, it is. OK. 
Okay, so where's that? You'd think it'd be nearby, but maybe not. Let's have a look. Where would it be? There's one up there. Wait, is that it? Hag's End. Oh, it is. Okay. Ooh. That's an Emeridius statue as well. That's another one that we've kind of put off for a long time. We should probably get onto that. And that is on the way to Solitude to then take care of the Thieves Guild one. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll do the burglary job. Burglary. Words are hard today. Don't know why. And then we'll head up towards... Do we have something there? That's a interesting one that's lit up even though we've not done anything there. And we'll head to Hag's End and then we'll head from the two... Statue to Meridia. We might as well do that one. Get that out of the way too. Another Daedric one out of the way. Always good. Right, where is this dude's house? Is it up there somewhere? Must be. Right, let's see if we can get there, I guess. Isn't that my job? Your job, do what I say. I say you have Hmm. Can we, can we even get up there? What's this bit? Alright. Don't think I've ever been up here before. Is there anything secret? Juniper bush? It's not really that secret, is it? It must be around here then, right? I work silver, like my father. And his father oh, before. Right there. Okay. This is easy enough. Come on, let's wait till the guard's not just staring me right in the face. <laughs> Did you stop staring at me? Okay, there we go. <laughs> right. That should be nice and simple. Okay. I think I figured out what was going on with that, why there's so many models. I think because I was trying to get particular quests from certain places, I was refusing ones that weren't there, and I think it, if you take the burglary jobs, it just kind of stacks them on top of each other. Ow! Jeez. Right. Hey, you. Oh, yeah, you. you. Fresh meat for your stomach? I mean, Don't it's cooked, to... sure. See for yourself. What have we got? We've got a meat pie. Eh, that's a mistake. Cool. We are running low on food, so okay, getting back to Riften would be good. Because hopefully those fish barrels have repopulated and we can just kind of grab a handful of those and, and carry on. Right, what do we got? We've got our quests to do. So let's head towards Hag's End, I guess. There's nothing else along the way now? I don't think there is. Yeah, we've got those two in Riften. We've got Erika's and Solitude, and then we've also got the shield. Yeah, I think we're, we're good to go. We're good to go. Yeah, I'm interested to find out if there are any more armors that are hidden in this game that I do not know about. I would like to try as many as possible throughout this series, and I'm hoping we get to a point where we can up our blacksmithing just a little bit more so when we do create these as legendary pieces as we do sort of improve them they're always going to be at the max amount available uh, for defense which I think is capped at 225 or something like that am I going the right way? I'm absolutely not going the right way where's the the other paths over there? Right. <laughs> This is what happens when I don't pay attention. <laughs> right, sorry guys. Going completely the wrong way. Let's go this way. Because, yeah, having having a bunch of different armors that we can maybe switch up our playstyle with. So, for example, when it comes to two-handed, I feel like we're probably going to go with heavy armor for that because we've got less chance to block. So we could use a different heavy armor that fortifies all those skills. 
And I think we should be fairly good. I, I'm interested to see in combat how we, we get on with this. Seeing as it's slightly... Oh, jeez. Wow. Okay, I guess we're fighting a dragon today. <laughs> uh, fortify health and... Okay, right. Let's get our stuff ready. Where is said dragon? Let's get... Oh, you know what? We can use our special new... What's it called? Uh, Mark for death, is it? Marked for death. Right, let's wait for him to, to land. Did it just, like, blast me and then leave? Oh, there we go. Is this probably a bad place for him to try and land, right? <laughs> oh, it's just a little basic dragon. We'll be alright with this one. Get off. Okay, let's go ahead and have a healing potion. You know what, we're not even getting the battle music for this, have you noticed? Like, it's that much of a... Oh, God. Oh, no, it's me. A few. <laughs> I thought because it went straight to a cutscene when the dragon's at half health, I thought it's got to be us that's dead. Yeah, we didn't even get the battle music for this little baby. There we go. Very nice. I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Yeah, I saved your ass again, Pavlo. <laughs> Wait, where does body go? Oh, it's up there. Weird. Why did it teleport up there? Let's go grab our loot from it, shall we? He obviously doesn't consider it much of a threat. But hey, we get another dragon soul out of it. Gold. Do we want the scales and the bones? Probably, but we'll give them to we'll give them to Dirkifus to hold on to, or Hilda. Hilda's got a bunch of stuff already, though. I don't think she can hold that much more. Dirkifus, however, I'm pretty sure you've How got quite a bit follow, of room. Need me to carry something? I do. I do. Hang on. Let me find it. Cool. Need Thanks. Guide us. There we go. Okay, like a quick save down as well. We're at it. There we go. Well, that was that was eventful. <laughs> like it's weird because we've been running from dragons for so long. I keep forgetting when they're not around that they're in the game because it's. I don't know, you put it to the back of your mind and you think, oh, I'm not going to fight it, I'm just going to run away. And we haven't actually really had to deal with any dragons for a while. But uh, that was quite a quite a simple one. Quite a simple one indeed. Oh yeah, we've got a level up too. Hmm, find somewhere to, to use that as well. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, it's the cultists. Fine. I'll fight you. Doesn't help that I'm hungry. I should probably eat as well. I'll take the robes. They're worth a decent amount of money. Uh, let's get some food in us. Let's have a meat pie. You know what? Let's whack a potion in us too. Right, he's dead. Take the robes. Dekifus is dealing with this one. There we go. Bit of extra money. Can't hurt. I'll let the river take care of the bodies. We do need to remember that we've got to collect 20 Nern Root as well. I keep forgetting to pick them up. Because usually I'm just riding by on a horse. So we... Oh, jeez. Um. <laughs> uh, I think this might be the thumbnail. It's my all-terrain horse. <laughs> oh, we can't do it. Anymore. It doesn't seem to work for some reason, this screenshot. Hang on. Does that one? Does that one? How do you... Oh, jeez. 
Why do none of the screenshot buttons work? How bizarre. In fact, why is nothing working? Has the game frozen? I broke the game. <laughs> no wonder it's not working. Can we load? No, we can't even. <laughs> oh, okay, I will be back. One moment. Okay, we're back. We had a, It wasn't even frozen in the end. It had a bit of a minor freak out. And uh, once we tabbed out and tabbed back in, it seemed to work again. So, as we were saying, <laughs> let's get. N Maybe this is why I don't get off my horse to get Nern Root. <laughs> okay, we got one. I've probably got one in a chest somewhere as well, I think. I think I remember picking one up recently and being like, oh yeah, we need to collect those. Right, how are we getting on as far as where we're heading? We're going to be heading down to Dragon Bridge and then up to Hex End. Okay, cool. Basically, follow the road. That I can do. Oh, yeah. No, he's not. He's not mad at me, so that's good. Uh, is it a case of follow the river? I think it is. Yeah, follow the river. Or is it? If we go across, that does go towards Dragon's Bridge. Uh, I guess we do. Never good at navig navigating. In game or in real life as well, to be honest. I'm one of those people that goes off visual cues, so I need to have... If there's a street, if you say, oh, it's it's this place on this street, I'm not going to know. But if you say, oh, it's near you know, the, the weird looking house on the corner, then I'm like, oh, yeah, that's exactly, I know where that is. Right, let's get the, why, why don't we just clear this place? Because these guys seem like assholes and uh, not a fan. Any more? Maybe we come back to this. No, we will get, we're getting distracted again. We've, we've got a job to do. We're not picking up more quests. Everywhere we go, everybody we brush past, we pick up a quest at the, at the moment. And our miscellaneous quests are looking horrendous. So I think we need to start clearing up some of those before we head back to Bruma. Because otherwise we are going to be... Oh, we are going well off the beaten track here. We did need to go down by the river. Oh, jeez. Okay, we, we learned the hard way last time that this is not the wisest idea, but we'll do our best. Oh, okay, right. Where was the card down here? Where's that from? Wait, what? Let's get off our all train horse again. We? There we go. It wouldn't let me off for a second there. What is all this? Rising threat, Olaf and the dragon? We've read that one. We've read that one. We've read Hawker Attacks. We've read OF and the Dragon, I think. What else we got? Legendary Legendary Sanctor. I don't think we've read that. No, we haven't. Two-handed. Kolb and the Dragon. I don't think we've read that one. I might take OF and the Dragon too, just to make sure we've not accidentally read the other one. There's no harm in having extra reading material, right? Pretty sure we've read this one now. Interesting. Dunmer of Skyrim. I don't think we've read that either. Why is there a thing of books down here? How odd. Are they banned reading materials? Is that is that something that's banned by the Thalmor influence? Or is it something... Oh, jeez. Okay, all right. Well, there's two of them now. Okay, down... Oops, sorry. I'm on your side. Yeah, I know. Apologies. Okay. Problem solved. Are we heading the right way now? <laughs> Even less so. <laughs> Alright, let's go back this way. Somehow managed to look at the map, realise I'm going the wrong direction, turn around, oh god, again, and end up going 
even more of the wrong direction. It's this one that we're looking for. Let's jump over here. Oh, I hear the telltale hum of an urn root. But where? Ah, oh, there it is. Excellent. Okay, there's two. Cool, cool. Do we... Do we dare release them? Kind of want to. We've not really dealt with the farmer, but they're always assholes. Uh, free and share items, sure. Let's give him a... Oh, jeez. We've not got anything to give him. Have we got anything to give him? Give him those. Don't know if he'll wear them, but we'll give him those. Over here. <laughs> Oh jeez, they're pretty powerful actually. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Oh, the storm at your neck. Maybe, yep, no, that was not a good idea. <laughs> okay, so maybe if we are going to do this, what we need to do is probably take out this guy first, right? Oh, sorry, not guy, lady. Now we do a potion. Um. Yeah. It's the only way out of your misery. You have a miserable life. I am your mother. Ah, you're no one's master. Sorry. You know what? Let's switch to. An Alentum Cross. Okay, now we grab another potion. And is it soup time? I think it might be soup time. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. No, 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 no. I'm going to make a rug out of you. Now, this stuff's usually quite light, isn't it? You could take a bunch of this. It doesn't really sell for much, though. Eh, we'll, we'll leave it. We'll just drink your wine. What? What? Why are you attacking? I was trying to save you from them. I can't defend them. How bizarre. So he obviously. Or maybe it's because we didn't free him, we just attacked them. So maybe that might, consider, that might be considered murder. I don't know. Hmm. Well, we beat them. That's the main thing. And the prisoner is technically free. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he was attacking me. Did we accidentally hit him with something? Oh, oh. It might have been the Fusrodar. It might have been the Fusrodar, thinking about it. Does tend to cause people to be pretty pissed off at me. Oh wait, we must be close to Dragon's Bridge now, or whatever. Dragon Bridge, yeah, not far off. I guess we then cut around to go back up to Hag End. We've gone a very long-winded way about this. That's very much our style. Were we? Didn't we come when we were here? Didn't we have to find somebody's wife? Do we want to try that again? Let's see if we find somebody's wife. We could potentially stop here as well. Make yourself useful. And her name's older. older. If you've met her, then you probably already know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Until older. Next time. You're it's no older. easy thing to make a living in the wilds of Skyrim. No? Okay. 
Who are you, small child? Are you a soldier? One day, I'm going to be a soldier. Older, older, older. Hmm. Now we spoke to you. Older, there we go, we found her. Where? Have you met my husband? Well, don't bother. He's a drunk. <laughs> Your husband's drinking too much? He promised me, swore on his ancestors, that he'd give up the mead. And what do I find out? He's been stashing drink in a cave nearby. He even has some wolves guarding it. I swear, I should just cut out his tongue. That would be the end of it. Hmm. I mean, I could get it for you. If you want to try, but I'll keep my dagger sharpened just in case. Kind of like her. You can help yourself to any drink you find, but bring me the bottle of Dragon's Breath Mead. It's his favorite, so I know he has one there. Interesting. Does the presence of the guards here bother you? No. I openly welcome the presence of armed strangers who have no reason to care about any of us. Lady, you just give me a quest. Of course it bothers me. I'm an armed stranger. I'm sure it's only a matter of time until they seize our mill in the name of their war effort. Next mm, thing you know, fair. there'll be more guards, and then we'll lose our homes as well. This is just the start of it. Mark my words. I mean, does your family own the lumber mill? My husband owns it. Barely. He'll lose it soon enough. He's behind on his loan payments. But he drinks all his money away just the same. <laughs> now we're deep in debt, penniless, and about to lose our sole source of income. Well, mm -hmm. we did say we weren't going to pick up any more quests, but here we are brushing past people and picking up quests. Uh, so let's... Is that a new, completely new quest, or is that is that an unmarked quest? It might be an unmarked quest. Oh no, there it is. Weird. Alright, so which cave is it? Oh, back here. I mean, it is kind of on the way. Sure, why not? Do we want to sleep first then? We are getting tired. I think we do. Let's let's sleep first, right? I'm hoping to run my own inn someday. Take a seat and get the cold out. Ooh, they're not gonna let me steal, are they? Respect the law, and you'll have no trouble in Dragonbridge. Uh, uh, uh. Sometimes there's usually something we can kind of pilfer, but it doesn't look like there's anything we can pilfer here. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. Nope. Okay, let's get to bed. Well, what's that? Suicide at Dragon's Bridge. One of the locals of the inn has been reported missing. I was about to tell the innkeeper to report it to the guard. But uh, Demius said he saw the person of question leap off Dragonbridge. A sad set of affairs, but not our concern. You, I can Strange. Tell. Oh, you God. Here to cause trouble. <laughs> Every time. Every time we touch anything, we pick Seen up a quest. A travelers lately. Okay, Mostly right. soldier nowadays. No, I'd, I'd, like, I'd like a bed. Please. <laughs> Okay, cool. I'll show you to your room. <laughs> right this way. All right, let's uh, let's sleep for twelve hours. Why not? And we'll see if we can buy some food from her before we go as well. Although we did pick up a little bit of stuff at the last inn. Let's see what we get, shall we? Oh yeah, the Avalon, of course. Stamina. Uh, let's go with a. Ooh, heavy arms at 101. Weighs nothing and doesn't slow you down. So currently our... Oh, what was it? It was like 288. So now that we're wearing that... 229. Oh, that's brilliant. That's fantastic. Okay, cool. What does this quest want us to do, exactly? Over the edge. Search for a body downriver. Okay, that's the other way, so we won't do that yet. We'll do that on the way to solitude. So K first. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Oh yes, there is. Before I forget, have you got Fate food? Is the name. I keep drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Let's go with some cooked beef, hogfish, go roast, venison chop. Cool. We got lots of food now. Until We're fine time. for a, a wee while at least. 
I'm hoping to run my own inn someday. Now, where did our horse go? Is it still chilling out down here? It is. Excellent. Uh, let's actually eat some food. We'll go with our... Let's, let's eat the venison chop, because that is heavy as hell. Right. So, currently we want to go that away. This way? No. This way. Yes? Yes. Okay. How do we get up the hill though? We are on a horse. We could probably we, we could probably do it. Alright? If there's one thing the Skyrim horses are known for, it's been able to traverse mountains like nobody's business. Maybe we have to actually cross the river here and go around. Jeez. Oh, Actually, this makes sense, because it's behind the actual lumber camp, so that would be a sensible place for him to actually hide his stuff. Okay, easy peasy. Yeah, there we go. Was that the wolves that were guarding it? How did he tame those, I wonder? that pelt because it is this oh jeez <laughs> get out of there leave my horse alone will you keep a pelt cool odd cinematic angle but <laughs> I'll take it <laughs> right what else is around here is there any this is a weird little ruin isn't it hmm okay never mind Must be close, right? Where's this cave? Oh, is that is that it? Ah, so it's not a proper cave, it's just a little overhang of sorts. He's he's full on chilling out here with the wolves, isn't he? Just sitting down having a drink. Uh look at all this. Ah, oh, cool. Is that a mug at some nice head skull? Alright. One down, let's get to Hag's End. Now that one, we're going to need to go up a little bit, up and over the mountain. Is that possible? Maybe? Oh, it looks possible. I mean, look at that though. That's not, that's not unhorse worthy, right? Skyrim horse can do that. Skyrim horse can do anything. How else can Skyrim horse fly? So... I doubt it's a problem for them at all. No, it's not. Look, I'm going just going to bug through the floor, but we got up there. Oh, how is that providing me more difficulty than the rest of the mountain? Okay, right. Now I think we just follow this up here to Hag End, right? Seems about right. Well, that was a bit of a delayed reaction, wasn't it? Horse was screaming in pain before the arrow actually came in. Get out of it. Oh, they've trapped somebody and stuff. Huh? Whoa! Brutal. The old jump smash. Okay, cool. Um, interesting. God, that's brutal. Okay, Hag End is up this way. I'll leave the horse here. I don't fancy the horse dying. Get a bit of a heal on. Oops. Let's grab our weapon again. Deepwood Redoubt. Hey. Hi. To be fair, I felt like he was warning me there instead of actually just instantly attacking, which is kind of rare for the Force One. Take the 
gold. For the reach. We rounded. Fall back. That new armor does look pretty damn cool, doesn't it? I love the little pouches and stuff. More, honestly, more armor like that. Practical armor. You need pockets and stuff. Hey, how are you? Whoa! Wow, the frost cloak is uh, pretty dang brutal, huh? Yeah, I didn't really focus on that when I was enchanting this arm. It was the... What's it? Enchant the fire, same as the boots from before. Not quite as good, 57%, not 60%, but yeah, I'm really surprised by that. Okay, you're down, take your money. You're down, take your money. You're down, eat your breasts. Wait. <laughs> Okay, that came out very wrong. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, I need a moment to come back. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, right. <laughs> Let's focus on killing this person, shall we? Oh, okay, right. <laughs> to eat the pheasant breast. <laughs> I don't think I've ever got words that are that badly wrong before. Jeez. Okay, right. <laughs> right, take a breath. Calm yourself. Okay, back to normal. Right, let's get to let's get to taking these these uh, four swan down, shall we? You know what? We didn't actually heal fully though. The other question is, are we diseased? Because it does feel like we are... No, oh, no, we're all good. We are all good. Hmm, okay. Let's grab our shield again. Check we're going to fight Draugr in here? I don't think we will. If the Force want to live in here, it'd be very unlikely the Draugr is still alive, right? Oh, jeez. Huh? Ah! 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 Okay, we are almost dead. Let's grab ourselves a... Can we restore health? Ah! Can we? Oh, okay, Dirkifus is going in there, all guns blazing. Yeah, you, you move them backwards so they get chopped by that stuff, right? There we go. That worked out really well. Uh, although for us, not so much. I don't really trust myself with Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Dirkifus, you are in the way, my friend. <sighs> okay. Master walk, eh? We can do this. We got the lock picks for it, why not? Just gotta find the little spot for it. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so a bit more than that. Maybe there? Too far. Or not far enough. There we go. What do we got in here? You can't hide from me. Oh, it's the way up. Obviously you need a key normally, maybe? 
Oh, jeez. Christ, the scared the crap out of me. Oh, my poor heart. <laughs> Alrighty, let's, uh... Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, that doesn't mean we've got to go through the lock again. Can we, can we see those runes? Oh, we can see the runes. Right, so then we can actually, if we're going to do that, we should be able to just do this, right? Yeah. There we go. Hello. Is someone there? Yes, me. Hello. Her magic is just killer. No more. Yeah, this uh, there we go, that's the stuff we need. Ice roof, ice roof teeth, we got a quest for that as well, of course we do. We quest for bloody everything. <laughs> so I guess we don't get the the XP. Force one missed. Have we read this? Alaric, do not cons uh, do not presume we have grown fat and complacent here in the north. Our matriarch was wise to bring us here, our camp is secure, and our numbers grow. We will not skulk in the shadows with you making petty plots with rabble and sycophants. When we strike, we will do it with cunning and power, and the occupiers will fall before us. That is the way of true reachmen. Okay, so they're doing the old plotting stuff. Cool, cool. Probably needs to take a break and do some reading soon. Elven Mace. The Elven Mace looks pretty cool. Do a bit of healing, make sure we're all fully healed. We are. Ooh, not this time. Okay, let's whack a quick save down because there are quite a few traps around here. Wow, ravages are also hard hitting. Or well, maybe it's just our armor's not as good now, so we kind of seem noticing it a bit more. In a way, it's kind of good. It means we've got a. We need food. It's time to soup up. There we go. That's soup power for you. <laughs> Who needs words of power and shouts and prophecy when you've got soup? Vegetable soup all the way. Got the, it's got it's, this is the soup of prophecy in a hundred years time they won't remember Steve Rogers they'll just remember vegetable soup a man fueled purely by soup being able to take down <laughs> the the end of the world dragons and also fix the civil war purely with soup let's take those any of the ingredients some apples I'll eat those Oops. all right deepwood Vale. I guess we should probably take a break here, right? Uh, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go a little bit longer. We'll go a little bit longer. See what we've got to get here. Oh, yeah, this is huge. Okay, yeah, let's let's leave it here. We'll do a bit of reading, okay? Let's have a look at our books, shall we? So let's read... Before the Ages of Man. Can we read that? We must have. Timeline Series Volume 1, Before the Ages of Man, by a cantor of Shimmerin. Before man came to rule Tamriel, and before the chronicles of the historians recorded the affairs of the rulers of Tamriel, the events of our world are known only through myths and legends, and through the divinely inspired teachings of the Nine Vines. For convenience, historians divide the distant ages of prehistory into two broad periods of time, the Dawn Era, and the Merefic Era. The Dawn Era. The Dawn Era is that period before the beginning of mortal time when the feats of the gods take place. The Dawn Era ends with the exodus of the gods and magic from the world at the founding of the Adamantine, 
adamant, yeah, adamantine tower. The term merific comes from the Nordic literary era of the elves. The merific era, merif, it will be not merific, it'd be merific, wouldn't it? Because mer elves, yep, yeah, okay, cool. It's the prehistoric time after the exodus of the gods and magic from the world at the founding of the adamantine tower and before the arrival of Isgrimor the Nord in Tamriel. The following are the most notable events of the Dawn Era, presented roughly in sequences that must be understood by creatures of time such as ourselves. The cosmos formed from the Erebus? Chaos or Totality by Anu and Padme. Akatosh, Oriel, formed and time began. The gods, Et Ada, formed. Morkan convinced or tricked the gods into creating the mortal plane, Nern. The mortal plane was at this point highly magical and dangerous. As the gods walked the physical makeup of the mortal plane and even the timeless continuity of existence itself became unstable. When Magic, Magnus, architect of the plans for the mortal world, decided to terminate the project, the gods convened at the Edamantine Tower, Dereni Tower, the oldest known structure in Tamriel, and decided what to do. Most left when magic did, others sacrificed themselves into the other forms so they might so they might stay. The Elnofi. Morkan was condemned by the gods to exile in the mortal realms, and his heart was torn out and cast from the tower, where it landed a volcano formed. Heart of Why does the heart of Lorcan ring a bell? Is that the Morrowind stuff? Heart of Lorcan? I've never really played Morrowind, but for some reason that sticks in my mind. I remember watching a friend play it. With magic, in the mythic sense, gone, the cosmos stabilized, elven history, finally. Linear began at ME 2500. The Merefic Era. The Merefic Era was, form, was figured by early Nord scholars as a series of years numbered in reverse order backwards from the beginning of time. The founding of the Camarandan dynasty, recorded as year zero of the first era. The prehistoric events of the Merefic era are listed here with the traditional Nordic Merefic dates. The earliest Merefic date cited by King Harold scholars was ME 2500, the Nordic reckoning of the first year of time. As such, the Merefic era extends from ME 2500 in the distant past to ME 1 the year before the founding of the Cameron Dynasty and the establishment of the White Gold Tower as an independent city-state. According to King Harold's Bards, ME 2500 was the date of construction of the Adamantine Tower on Beleria Island in High Rock, the oldest known structure of Tamriel. I wonder if we'll see that in Elder Scrolls 6 then. Hopefully. This corresponds roughly to the earliest historical dates given in various unpublished Elvish chronicles. During the early Merific era, the Aboriginal beast people of Tamriel, the ancestors of the Khajiit, Argonian, Orkish, and other beast folk, lived in pre literate communities throughout Tamriel. In the Middle Merific era, the Old Mary, mortals of elven origin, refugees left the doomed and now lost continent of Old Maris, also known as Old Elnofi, and settled in southwestern Tamriel. The first colonies were distributed at wide intervals on islands along the entire coast of Tamriel. Later, inland settlements were founded primarily in fertile lowlands in southwest and central Tamriel. Wherever the beast folk encountered the elves, the sophisticated, literate, technologically advanced Old Merry cultures displaced the primitive beast folk into the jungles, marshes, mountains, and wastelands. The Adamantine Tower was rediscovered and captured by the Dereni, a prominent and powerful Old Merry clan. The Crystal Tower was built on Somerset Isle and later White Gold Tower in Cyrodiil. During the Middle Merefic era, Aldmeri explorers mapped the coasts of Vardenfell, building the first era high elven wizard towers at Old Redania, Balfell, Tel Arun, and Tel Mora in Morrowind. It was also during this period that Aelid wild elven settlements flourished in the jungle surrounding White Gold Tower, present day Cyrodiil. Wild Elves, also known as the Harland High Elves, preserved the Dawn Era magics and language of the El Nofi. Ostensibly, a tribute land to the High King of Eleanor, the Heartland's long lines of communication from the Somerset Isles, sovereignty effectively isolated Cyrodiil from the High King's Crystal Tower. 
The late Middle Merefic era is the period of the high Velofi culture. The Kaima ancestors of the modern Dunma or Dark Elves were dynamic, ambitious, long-lived elven clans devoted to fundamentalist ancestor worship. The Kaima clans followed the prophet Velof out of the ancestral elven homelands in the southwest to settle in the lands now known as Morrowind. Despising the secular culture and profane practices of the Duema, the Khmer also coveted the lands and resources of the Duema and for centuries provoked them with minor raids and territorial disputes. The Duema, dwarves, free-thinking reclusive elven clans devoted to the secrets of science, engineering and alchemy established underground cities and communities in the mountain range, like to the Velofi Mountains, separating modern Skyrim and Morrowind. The late Merefic era marks the precipitous decline of Velofi culture. Some Velofi settled in villages near declining and abandoned ancient Velofi towers. During this period, Velofi high culture disappeared on Vardenfell Island. The earliest Dwemer freehold colonies date from this period. Degenerate Velofi devolved into tribal cultures which, in time, evolved into the modern great houses of Morrowind, or persisted as the barbarian Ashlander tribes. The only surviving trace of this tribal culture a scattered Velofi towers and Ashlander nomads on Vardenfell Island. The original first era high elven wizard towers along the coast of Tamriel were also abandoned about this time. It was in the late Merefic era that the pre-literate humans, the so-called Nadic people from the continent of Atmora, also Altmora or the Elderwood in Aldmeris, migrated and settled in northern Tamriel. The Nord culture hero Isgrimor, leader of a great colonizing fleet of Tamriel, is credited with developing a runic transcription of Nord speech based on Elvish principles, and so Isgrimor is considered the first human historian. Isgrimor's fleet landed on Hisaric Head at the extreme northern tip of Skyrim's Broken Cape. The Nords built the, the legendary city of Sarfall. The elves drove the men away during the Night of Tears, but Isgrimor soon returned with his 500 companions. Also during the late Merefic era, the legendary immortal hero, warrior, sorcerer, and king, variously known as Pelennal Whitestroke, Harald Harry Breeks, Ismore, Ismir, Hans the Fox, etc., wandered Tamriel gathering armies, conquering lands, ruling, then abandoning his kingdoms to wander again. Ah, there we go. So, as always, we, we do a little bit of reading at the end of each episode. If you've made it to the end of the episode, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. I hope you're learning a little bit more about the game as I am when I'm reading these as well. Because it's been 12 years and I've literally. I'd never read one of the books cover to, you know, cover to cover unless it was forced in a quest. So now we're actually learning a little bit more about the game as we go through, which I'm enjoying. And if you've enjoyed this too, leave a like, leave a comment. I always love hearing from you. And I shall see you next time. Bye for now. Is it Kajit?